How are you children? How are you? Very fine. I am also very fine. Last class we deal which, which topic so much? Uh, sir, photosynthesis. Very good. Well done. As the result of the photosynthesis, what will be prepared? Starch food material. Very good. Starch is the complicated carbohydrate food material. Very good. Now the food is prepared in where? Leaves. This food is here transported to all other parts. Let us now we have to come to the new important and interesting heading. That heading is called nowadays transport of food and minerals in plants. Before going to this, the world is mainly categorized into two divisions living world and non-living world. Anything that has a life or called the word is living thing, doesn't have me, they are called the word is non-living things, non-living things. Now, what are the living things? The plants, animals and humans are called the word is living world. Plants have the life is a, said by a great is a philosopher as well as the a scientist and his name known as Jagdish Chandra Bose. He is a very important personality. He shows the what means a plant have life plant of life okay uh, what does the mean of the what means transport in english transport mean to carry the a people or a something from one place to another place that is is called the word transport in biologically what is mean by the transport mean the transport is nothing but is a carrying of food water and mineral from one part of the plant body to another part of the plant body that is we call the word is transport that is a transportation is very important Without transportation means no chance to carry the any food material. Now let us we have to take the what means plant. This plant is a food is prepared in the leaves we learned. That food is go for the what means a going down. That is a uh, transported to all the part and upper part likewise. Like that is a water is absorbed from the what means a root and up to where means a tip of the a plant. In case of the we go for the what means very important thing transport in unicellular plant and multicellular a plant. What is the unicellular plant? Let us we have to take the one small a picture. This is nothing but it is a green alga that is a plant, a single celled plant, multicellular plant is a simple multicellular plant is called the word is spirochira by the diffusion. What is mean by diffusion? The diffusion is very very important thing while if it is a getting the chance, while if you have to enter the room, any leakage of the gas smell we have to feel that is, is called the word is a phenomenon we call the word is diffusion. Up now in our best example neighboring house if the any is a world grandma is a cooking or a baking the what means is a, a vada. Now that is we have to get the everyone is a, getting the pleasantable smell is called the word is vada smell that is a nothing but is a diffusion. Now, but diffusion is nothing but that is a movement of any particle or a molecule from the region of higher concentration to lower concentration until the what means uniform distribution this is called the word is diffusion like a small plant that is is called a, the transport of the food materials are only to occur by the phenomenon is called diffusion best example we take the bucket of water and pour the what means a little drops of the what means a liquid blue this is an example for the diffusion we take the cup of milk adding up the teaspoon of the sugar that is, is a mixed after without any stirring after we drink the what means a milk we get a what means a, a sweet taste that is example for the diffusion. Let us this diffusion is not applicable in case of the higher plant. Now that is a higher plant how that is a transportation is occurs in the higher plant mean mainly to occurs very complicated and elaborately. That is a plants does not have the what means any what heart blood vessels like this anything does not have. The plant have the what means a small liquid a blood like fluid that blood like fluid is called the what is sap this is we call the what is sap. This sap is a transported to what means other part of the body plant body. Now this is, is a mainly to transportation that is, is a in higher plants to uh, de development of the specialized tube that tube is called the word is xylem tube and phloem tube. Xylem means always to transport the xylem and the phloem are always to combining together. This tissue is called the word is vascular tissue. Now the vascular tissue is nothing but combination of the xylem and the phloem. I, uh, I am indicated the word is two arrow mark, one arrow mark, upward arrow mark, another arrow mark is downward arrow mark. It has a one meaning. The downward arrow mark means transported the food is here from the leaves to downward part that is is called uh, this part the upward the root is absorb the water from the soil that waters are going up to the what means is a top of the plant 
this is we call the word is xylem vessels that is it there are two important a uh, yeah, aspect is very important transport of the what means a food in the higher plants namely transportation of the what means water and mineral by means of xylem transportation of the food uh, by means of phloem these uh, if the any plant which bear the both the xylem and the phloem that uh, tissue that plants are called the what is vascular plants vascular plants vascular tissue bearing plants are called the vascular uh, plants vascular plants now the xylem the structure and the functions of the what means a xylem this is is a xylem now that is a we take that is a transportation the plant is indicating the what means one one hero mark is a going upward hero mark it indicates the what means water is moving up next another hero mark is a leaves prepared the food material that is going up as well as going what means down this uh, this vessels are called the what is phloem tissue phloem tissue the leaf is a kitchen house of the plant we learned in a previous class right now the xylem the xylem it shows the what means here it is a one of the what means here composed of four things which is made up of living and non living as well as the complex tissue complex tissue and they composed of four elements four elements tracheids vessels xylem parenchyma xylem fiber the xylem fiber is here popularly we have to call the word is wood now this is called the wood this is taken from where means is the interior of the plant that is is called xylem fiber now in case where there this xylem are xylem are present mean the xylems are occurs in all parts of the plants namely root stem leaves in all other parts if it is present mean the xylem and phloem always to bundling and forming that's why we call the word is vascular bundle vascular bundle now next we go for the what means is a next part phloem phloem is downward arrow mark indicating now the food is prepared in where leaves the from the leaves that food is a going down that is a tip of the what means a root tip of the root now the phloem is also is a composed of complex tissue what is mean by complex tissue now the plant tissue is a mainly categorized into meristematic tissue permanent tissue that is is a permanent tissue in turn is a divisible into simple tissue and complex tissue simple tissue means simple that is is called only one kind of the cells are present complex mean more than one type of the cells are present mean that is we call the word is complex tissue xylem and phloem the xylem and phloem comes under the complex tissue now let us we have to study the what means a phloem a phloem is a composed of four important elements composed of now which is present in all parts of the plant that is a root stem leaf and every part the phloem will be present which is composed of four elements namely sieve tubes companion companion cells phloem parenchyma phloem fiber phloem fiber the main function of the phloem is mainly to transportation of the what means a food material from the leaves to all other parts that is upper part as well as the what means a lower part lower part this is we call the word is responsible vessel is called the word is phloem phloem is very important xylem is responsible for transportation of the what means a water minerals from the root tip to root tip to tip of the what means a plant tip of the plant that is we say exact now complex tissue next if it is go for the what means a next part that is is called a osmosis what is that is is a plant before that is is a main part is absorption of the water by means of a root that is a, this is a, we have to study every plant now if you have to take the what means a, a the plant are shows the what means a two part upper part is a shoot lower part is called a root the root is a while the root is a seedling that is a small minute small long branch that is is called a long which has shows the what means many minute hair like structures unicellular yeah hair like structure this is we call the word is root hair this is we call the word is root hairs these root hairs are very important to absorb the what means a water material water from the soil water from the soil the root is a 
unicellular microscopic hair like structure which shows the what means to absorb the what means water from the soil afterwards that water will be transported through the what means a an important vessel that vessel is called the what is xylem vessel xylem vessel now the root hairs are absorb the water from the soil by means of one important uh, phenomenon this is we call the what is osmosis osmosis is a very very important process that is a, what is mean by osmosis mean the root hairs are absorb the what means a water from the soil enter into the what means a root through the what means a cells they are a pass into the what means several cells and finally enters into the one of, one of the important tube that we call the what is xylem vessels now water is entered to the what means a root by the process is called the what is osmosis what is mean by osmosis when the two solute are a separated into the what means a two solution one solution is a weaker solution another solution is called the what is stronger solution now that is is a between the that is is the outermost covering of the plant cell is called a cell wall beneath the cell wall it has a what means important thing that we call the what is mainly cell membrane the cell membrane which is act as a what means semi permeable membrane otherwise we call the what is partially permeable membrane to allow the what means a anything through the what means a membrane to allow now within the cell it has a what means is a vacuole the vacuoles are a store the what means some sap material that is is called a, that sap is a changes into what means is a, a strong is a changes into weaker solution weaker solution weaker solution from the weaker solution if enters into the what means a adjacent cell is a goes to the what means a stronger solution osmosis is a in tamil word is a subword parallel what is the meaning of the osmosis mean to separate solution we have to separate it by means of a semi permeable membrane the flow of that is a movement of water molecule water molecule from the region of that is is called weaker solution into strong solution through a semi permeable membrane this is we known as osmosis this osmosis is a very very important process the plants absorb the what means a water water through from the where means is is a soil or enters to the what means a plant enter to the plant that is a osmosis now the plants are how that is is a ta taking mean they are enters to the what means a cells and move to the what means one cell to another cell another cell likewise and finally if it is go for the what means a tube that is is called a xylem vessels xylem vessels okay now the osmosis is a very important phenomenon mainly to take the what means a water to take the what means absorb the what means water through the what means is a presence of root hairs root hairs absorb the what means a water now that is is called osmosis next we go for the what means transpiration what is mean by transpiration the plants are a fall the what means a sunlight the waters are after the heated the plants absorb root are absorb the what means much more waters are absorbed all the waters are not utilized by the plant this waters are a the rest of the water this the, this waters are used for growth and photosynthesis they are utilized the rest of the waters are not at all to use these waters are a through the what means a presence of minute opening this opening is called the what is stomata through this stomata it is a leaving out send out the what means a excess amount of the water excess amount of the water that a excess amount of the waters the process by which the removal of excess of excess amount of the water vapor water vapor water vapor send out from the plant body send out from the plant body this is we call the what is transpiration now let us we have to take the one potted plant well wetted plant we cover the one polythene cover and keep it under the what means the sunlight after the 3 to 4 hours after you have to observe this within the polythene cover transparent polythene cover which shows the what means a very minute a water drops water drops water drops are found inside of the polythene cover which shows the what mean plants are do the what means a transpiration let out the what means a excess amount of the water excess let out the excess amount of water that is is a best illustration while our in our mom in our home we have to after that is a using of the remnant is the coriander leaves putting into the cover and keep it in the what means a near to the window which shows the what means is a after some time we show the small drops of waters are present inside of the what means polythene cover this shows the what means simple experiment nothing but that is is called the what is mainly for that is a transpiration as a result of transpiration it let out the what means water let out the water now that is is a transpiration we learned what are the factors are a mainly to affect the transpiration 
the transpiration affect the what means several kinds of the factors are there what are the important factor sunlight intensity of light light increases means transpiration increases when the temperature is increases means that is is a the transpiration rate also increases that is a wind the velocity of the wind is increases means the transpiration will be in, will increase humidity what is mean by humidity a yeah, small water the small moisture content present in the hair is called the what is humidity this humidity is a more means uh, transpiration is less if the humidity is a less in the hair mean the transpiration will be increases that the availability of soil water when the water is a dry the transpiration water is a dry mean the transpiration is a reduced when the water is a wetted more water is there mean they are increase the what means a transpiration rate will be increases Transpira transpiration rate will be increases okay now we have to go for the what means an important thing xylem vessels we learned we want to, to do the what means one of the important experiment we have to do at home we take the one small beaker we putting the what means one small plant that is a any that is balsam plant the roots are after washed and putting into the what means a, a, a eosin saffronin a some of the dyes after some time we have to observe that is a entire plant that is a stem part is a changes into what color mean red in color due to the absorption of the what means water to change the what color means is a red in color that is is a this experiment are clearly to prove the what means is a xylem vessels are responsible for transportation of the what means water transportation of the water in other term we call the what is ascent of sap ascent of sap okay likewise we have to do one, one more experiment at home we take the what means any one of the plant that is upper part that is is called this is we call the what is bark as we call the what is bark after cut and leave leave the what means a bark cut and leave it after that is a 2 to 3 months after birth we have to observe that particular area it becomes the what color what mean a yes, swollen swollen in the upper region the lower part is a same condition same condition which shows the what means nothing phloem is responsible for transportation of the food material in this case the phloem is a disconnected no chance to conduct the what means a food day further away up now the upper part only accumulate the what means more food material more food material this experiment we are called what is griddling griddling experiment the bark that is a bark which contain the what means a phloem if the phloem is blocked mean the food materials are accumulated in the upper part it become the what means a swollen this experiment are indicating the what mean griddling experiment which shows the what means a phloem phloem vessels are transport the what means a food material this is you have to do at home in our areas some of the plant is there that is a bark is a we have to written on the name and we have to write on the what means some names that is after the 3 to 4 month or 6 month after if you have to see they are showing the what means a, a greater impression that is is called as breakage of the phloem breakage of the phloem okay right let's next part we go for the what mean another one very important thing is called the what is minerals in plants now that is, is a minerals in plants without the minerals are a generally plants are hi this is nikita from 11th standard i'm studying in bartasana matriculation high secondary school i can say republic day in 20 different languages let me start Yeah, I'm 